Hello, I'm Ari David, and this is Destined for Failure, a Twitch stream where I play Destiny very, very badly. Uh, he's semi-obscured by my microphone, but I have my co-host, Muadib, right there. He's doing nothing. It's a paw. Let's see if we can get a little light on him. Just get a little, little cat light. There you go. Now you can see a cat. All right, but I put this in front of his head. Hold on. Welcome to Destin for Failure, where I spend the first few minutes futzing with my microphone. I have a system now. Because my microphone stand, like my mic isn't heavy enough, and it's such a good microphone stand, it keeps moving around. I think there, that's a good mic placement. I sound good, right? And you can see my cat moving. There you go. That's usually where his head is. So that's like a good, that's a good spot. Good evening, everyone. I think I saw Barkov in the beginning. Uh, I know I saw Artistic Simplicity, and Juan, and Cody, and Modi. Hi, hi, Ari, hello, you are here. Hermit, hello, welcome as well. So it's been a hot second since I've done a, a Destiny stream. I'll, his time slot's Wednesday. He's, I don't know, it's, uh, it doesn't matter if we conflict. I mean, kind of does, because we're the same, we have the same audience, but it also doesn't matter, because you can have two tabs open, just saying. You can, you can watch two things. I'm guessing, I've never tried that, um, but do it, or, you know. Make second accounts and follow us twice. What? That's voter fraud. Or that's Twitch fraud. I can't do that. That's awful. Your days, your days are off. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry to hear you got quarantined again for exposure. That sucks, Captain. The new watermelon Mountain Dew. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's get to some Destiny, right? I actually have a little bit of story to do. A seasonal activity, one might say. Well, yes, seasonal, but not like a. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I bought the Destiny Companion app. You can buy bounties with your iPad so you don't have to go to the tower if you don't want to. So I did that because I was late getting on here tonight. You know, I'm always late. Well, that's good to hear, Captain Manic. I hope we all get vaccinated soon. And that is not even, that, that doesn't even sound sarcastic anymore. All right, I'm just fucking around looking at stuff because I like it. <laughs> okay, we're going to the Tangled Shore. We gotta go talk to the crow. I'm pretty low on the priority list. Oh, I'm hot. I mean, not in the the romantic way, in the audi auditory way. I gotta gotta tweak that a little bit. Y'all let me know how the sound balance is. Hopefully the game sounds good, but I'm louder. Uh, 
That sucks. Yep. I'm really hoping my mom's a public school teacher and she's old and I'm hoping that she gets what uh, she gets vaccinated real soon. And my dad too. Dispatch the salvage team. I bought this with uh, bright dust and I like it. Um, it doesn't look like much now, but all these like cool little circles, they glow. So when I'm flying around, what are your thoughts after Mr. Friends adventures? Owen, um, my thoughts are that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was, that was everything the character wanted when he got his hands on the sarcophagus. All he ever wanted was to just hook up with it and, and understand it and become it and set it free. Um, that was his obsession from moment one. Um, and uh, having, you know, uh, Alvin Dross right there, uh, the guy who created it, build a port into his arm so that he could do that even though it's a suicide run, again, the character had uh, has an empathy score of four, and the way that that works in the game uh, is uh, your humanity rating, which decides how crazy you go, is dictated off of um, your empathy score times ten. So I only had forty empathy to begin with. I got a bunch of cyberware and like was on the edge at twenty. Which made me borderline cyber psychosis. Um, yeah, Cody, that's. I, I think we're all there. Um, Biden's making some good steps. I, look, we all settled for Biden, but it's the. It's not even an evil. It's a neutral. Like, we'll we'll take it. We can work with that. He he, made a good gesture. Um, in his cabinet picks and uh, putting Bernie Sanders at the head of the budget committee, the Senate budget committee, was a big F you to the Republicans and a big signal to, I mean, younger, his base, younger millennial voter people who like Bernie Sanders. Um, so that was a solid choice. Um, I wish it was $2,000 checks coming our way and not 1400 uh, like like everybody here, I I need money, um, and I am in debt like everybody else. It's fun pandemic times. Um, I, don't worry, I got a roof over my head and food and, and did, everything's cool. But like, uh, you know, I'm I'm in America with the rest of you uh, that are in America. I keep forgetting uh, that I'm on the internet and that everybody watches it. And I don't know how I forget it, because Owen's in Ireland. And then I've got, uh, what's his name? And, and uh, Ding Dong Magic as uh, I'm rapping Australia. Rory, what's up? Welcome. I'm busy uh, BSing and not talking to the crow. Spiders and Porter. Crow shuffles esoteric gadgets around his workbench. We're on the verge of the coup de grace. I've tracked the high celebrant to the dreaming city, but the lore will need to be upgraded. Thank you. I've been waiting for this last upgrade. It's will complete a triumph. That's awful. I'm hard. Oh. I mean, I was in New York. I mean, was. I'm in Brooklyn. Um, and my area is one of the hardest hit areas in New York City. Um, well, I appreciate the sentiment, Rory. Um, it's just common decency. It's just looking out for each other. It's what our government should do. They're public servants. It, it, it's the least we can expect from them, I think. 
humanity, the human race has a tendency to want to um, let leaders make decisions and, and not pay attention to the decisions that they make. And then sometimes it, it, it tilts in a fashion that harms us. And so that happened. And now uh, it, we're going to, I mean, civilization has to correct it or fall apart. And we're going to hopefully do the former and not the latter. Um, and that means being decent to each other. Let's all be decent. He says as he prepares to indiscriminately shoot aliens and robots because they're different than him. Okay, let's read this again from the top. Crow shuffles esoteric gadgets around his workbench. We're on the verge of a coup de grace. I've tracked the High Celebrant to the Dreaming City, but the lure will need to be upgraded one last time before we can make our move. The light bearer holds up one of the strange baubles and examines it closely. Here it is. The final piece. Crow smirks. Well then, like Spider always says, we're in business. Upgrade the lure one last time. Obtain the seeker tool upgrade from a crow and act okay. I, I, please, for the love of God. <laughs> right. Rory, you're right. I mean, no parties yet. I mean, party in the general sensibility of, of don't go insane and have a modicum of joy in your life. But also, like, don't go to parties right now. I'm sorry to be that, that guy, but I'll be that guy. Um, what are my bounties? Oh, Heather's art. So I kind of know Heather, like, a little. The artist who did all the cyberpunk stuff. Um, I would say we are passing acquaintances, uh, and we mingle in the same circles. Um, so I'm part of a card game company with Pat, who I play, uh, who I played the Halo games with. Uh, thank you. Yeah, that's, this is, um, at, at eight, eight, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta plug her. So if you go to Twitter, uh, I'll just do Twitter because it's just twitter.com slash who you are. Um. Hopefully this is the right person. And I, did I get it right? Did I get it right? Yes, I did. Okay, so that's Heather Vaughn. She's the artist who did it. Uh, give her work a look. She's uh, pretty fantastic. <laughs> did I look really, really different on the sidebar? Me personally? But um, she took notes from us, and we all had input, but Greg put in a lot. Um, yeah, it's something that Greg wanted to surprise us with, but it's also something we had been asking for for a long time. Um, so we... Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're all just gobsmacked with it. And I know Heather loosely from being kind of involved in the card game convention circuit. <laughs> um, card and board game. The gaming, I go, we go to a lot of PAXs and we've been to Gen Con and a bunch of other stuff like as exhibitors. And she did art for Kids, uh, Kids on Bikes, which is a really fun RPG. It's kind of like Tales from the Loop. Um, you should check out Kids on Bikes. Um, it's all about, like, playing 80s kids movies, like The Goonies or something, um, is the best way to describe it. Um, it's very fun. Kind of, kind of Stranger Thingsy. Not, not that Stranger Thingsy, but it, it can be, potentially. Um, it was fun. I've played it. I think it woke we were actually talking uh, about, we really love cyberpunk, at least uh, Johnny and I, um, we, we've been talking uh, and 
we kind of want to see how long we can run Cyberpunk. Uh, Johnny and I both put in pleas to Greg to be like, can we just keep playing this? Like, we just got the character art. It would be really dumb. Like, obviously, we ha we were doing season arcs, and we left off with, like, a, a big season arc on our D&D &D game. But um, Cyberpunk is... Uh, there aren't that many cyberpunk uh streams and there's a lot of D, &D streams um that's one thing and uh you know we've gotten the the very some pretty vocal support from our telsorian games the designers i mean they reached out to greg and offered him a beta um we're very connected to cyberpunk i mean we i'm playing the role-playing game the 2077, the, the video game, and Greg's cocktail that he made that started this whole thing that got our Talsorian's attention, um, the designers of Cyberpunk 2077 changed the Johnny Silverhand drink, which if you play the game, it, you go to the afterlife, all the cocktails are named after, like, dead mercenaries and shit. So Keanu Reeves' character, Johnny Silverhand, had a drink, and your character drinks it at some point lots of people in the bar have it and they changed it to look like greg's cocktail which is which was amazing um and then our telsorian before that because we were already playing cyberpunk at that point but our telsorian saw that video and was like hey dude how would you like to stop playing D, D and and play a beta of cyberpunk red and so we got like we were we're, I mean, we're not paid by our Talsorian, but I would say we're officially sanctioned. Um, Greg, I mean, I'm in touch with uh, whoever's in, in charge of their social media account. I talked to them. I believe it's Jay Gray. Um, and, but Greg talks to the Pondsmiths. Like, he talks to Cody Pondsmith a bunch. Um, who's uh, son of Mike Pondsmith, the guy who created Cyberpunk. And uh, Cody had, uh, he's still, I think he's a bit younger than me. Um, he had uh, a good hand in writing this new edition. So, um, exactly, Owen. So, um, I think we're talking. There's no commitment yet, but Greg, uh, Greg, I believe is inclined with us. But uh, we may stick with Cyberpunk for for a while. Um, for Greg, the source material is easier for him. Uh, Greg and I, you know, I I talk about how we became friends over Vampire the Masquerade. But one of the other things we became friends over was our love for William Gibson. And, like, Neuromancer and Blade Runner and Cyberpunk and, like, all all of that. We loved all of it. Um, so this is uh, this is his world. He's also... He used to be. He, he's moved away from it. Um, but he was a big Warhammer 40k guy for a while. Um, but he's mellowed out too much for it. And he feels like too many fascists play Warhammer. And I kind of almost agree with him. Right, like, we were learning the ropes with our D&D &D game, and I loved playing the spooky witch lady, um, who had the crow named uh, the uh, friend, who was the inspiration for the name Mr. Friend, um, my hacker. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just got the character art, and even though it feels like this run that we're on right now is the, the season finale... Why am I doing this? I'm, there's nothing to look at but a menu. Let's look at my face. My beautiful face. And my cat left. Yeah, he left. Um, it, it, we, it feels like a season finale, the finishing this run on the Arasaka Villa, but we kind of just want to go into season two. Exactly, Hermit. It's, it's, look, we're not saying it sucks because it's, it, it really isn't the entire fan base. I loved, yeah, Owen, oh, I played so much Dark Heresy 
Greg ran a Dark Heresy campaign while we were in college, and it turned... He morphed it into a Rogue Trader um, campaign because he decided he liked Rogue Trader better. So he had our group of Inquisitors, basically our entire quest line, we found out our Inquisitor was using us to get uh, his own vessel and, you know, Imperial right to be a pirate. <laughs> um, and uh, we just wound up betraying him and taking it for ourselves. And so we got, we got to run the, the ship which was a lot of fun. Um, I was an arbiter, and then I turned into the ship's quartermaster. It's going well, Redbeard. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we, were, we were just talking cyberpunk and all things pertaining to it. Um, it's going to be cool, um, and it looks like we're investing in it. Greg, uh, yeah, what a twist. Greg, uh, he gets cyberpunk. And for him, exploitative corporate greed is much easier to wrap his head around than coming up with ancient civilizations. So I feel like it's a better uh, playground for him. Um, and yeah, that art. Goddamn. So, Heather, I know from going to conventions, um, she was on a panel uh, run by a friend of ours. Uh, her name's Anya Combs. She's the head of gaming outreach and development at Kickstarter. She's a big, big shot over at Kickstarter. And she ran a panel, an art battle panel. And our artist, Alicia Wilkerson, who I should also plug... Um, you don't know her art, but you're about to. Because I'm going to plug Alicia. She doesn't even know she's getting this plug. But this is... Uh, so Pat and I, like I said... Um, we... Uh, we have a card game company. And... We have an artist, and she was on a panel with Heather. And so I've kind of, like, spoken to Heather a little, but, like, you know how, like, you stand in a group of strangers and you just kind of go, yeah, sure, uh-huh, okay, yeah. Like, that was it. So I, I don't expect Heather to remember me at all. Oh, well, thank you, Hermit. Uh, oh, we were having a lot. Yeah, uh, Owen, I agree. Um, regarding how Greg handled the run, I'm I'm having a blast, and there's gonna be consequences. Oh, uh, that's fine. Lurk away, Cody. Um, but yeah, um, when you you find yourself networking a lot at these conventions, it's weird. You oddly look forward to them, but you also dread them because being an exhibitor at a convention and demoing a card game or a board game for a full work day for four days and then also partying hard every night because you have to network... Um, it's a lot, but you meet a lot of really cool people, and every time you go to one of these conventions, it kind of feels like grown-up summer camp. Um, so yeah, Ali Alicia is uh, our artist. She has she sells stuff like shirts and stuffed animals that she designs. It it is it is work actually. Um, it's work that we justify as a hobby, and uh, we're not really making like I don't make. I make money off of it, but like really the company breaks even and covers our expenses and Pat feels really happy when he can take us to one company dinner a year. He's just like, let's go out to dinner on the company car. We do that, uh, the three of us. And um, although harder now because because it, COVID happened, Alicia left New York City and Pat and I haven't seen each other since we were protesting in the summer. <laughs> 
um, minus yelling at each other uh, on on the Halo streams. Um, I'll bet Owen that, and that must suck. Um, might I recommend uh, Gen Con's cool, but if you're planning to come to America for a convention. Go to one of the PAXs, PAX East or PAX West. Uh, I would probably suggest PAX West because of the time of the year and location. PAX East happens in Boston in winter. So that's kind of like, it's like late February, early March usually. Um, okay, Redbeard, suggestion taken. You're part of the Discord. I hope. I think you're part of my Discord. I'll plug my Discord now. I have a Discord server where people can bug me with questions like Redbeard just did about channel points. Um, Redbeard, if I believe you're on my Discord, if you are, um, and if you're not, somebody copy and paste it, put it in in the channel called the Airing of Grievances. Yeah. Also, a, a hermit. No, you go to Indianapolis for Gen Con, and there's nothing in Indianapolis but Gen Con. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. Um, yeah, I, I'm a horrible, awful capitalist. It's behind a Patreon paywall of $2. But you get to be called a cool person because that is... Um, that's what I call all the people who are in, in my server. Everyone's just a cool person. Because I think it's super cool that you want to hang out with me and talk to me enough that you pay two bucks. That's really cool. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, there is PAX Unplugged, and everyone does go to that. And PAX Unplugged happens in Philadelphia in December. And uh, that has no video games. It is tabletop RPG only. Um, but Gen Con is great, and it, uh, for networking, the people that you would want to meet would be there. Um, uh, I definitely, like, in addition to the, all the indie Kickstarter people that I, we've fallen in with, like Heather, um, we, I've met people at Fantasy Flight, I've met people at Onyx Path Publishing, um, it, it's cool. Um, but I would seriously, if you're looking to enjoy it, and if you want to meet up, because I can guarantee you I'll be at a PAX. Um, I do mo I do most of the PAXs. If we're having a really good year, I also go out to, um, also go out to PAX, uh, West in Seattle. Sometimes it's just Pat who goes out there, but sometimes it's the team. Um... And Alicia usually comes to the conventions, too. And she's great. She's a character. I love her. Um, I'm going to hydrate. Nobody spent the points, but I'm going to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I couldn't do it until I had permission. Oh, this is three people? I did a two-person swig, maybe. A one and a half. So. I know what everybody's saying. Jug, jug, jug. Oh, man. You sick. You see how much, you see how much water that dude chugged? Fucking crazy. Uh, I'll do better than tell you. I'll throw a link to my company's website. There are multiple card games. Um, the most recent one was um, called Status Report. Um, and it was a social deduction game. That's kind of like if you played Werewolves or Mafia. Or um, we get a lot of comparisons to Resistance. Um, but our company specializes... Um, oh, you have to, Pat didn't consider it either. Pat doesn't like talking to people, but Pat loves playing card games. And then he realized that when he has to go to these conventions, he has to be friendly. Like, Pat is a grumpy, a grumpy Irishman from Boston. 
Um, so Offcut Games, that is my uh, card game company. Um, I so Pat is great. He was my roommate. Is he's still my friend? We live in walking distance from each other in Brooklyn. Like we we live in the general vicinity of each other. Um, were it not the plague, like he's a twenty minute walk up up from my apartment. Um, it's not it's not a big deal. He's two subway stops. No, he's one subway stop. Can I get the fanny pack without the game? There's only one fanny pack. Um, you're talking about Expect Delays. That game is in development. We never actually ran the Kickstarter for it yet. Um, so, but that game's great. Uh, Expect Delays is, is a fully ready-to-go game that we just haven't put out yet. That is um, all about the joys of public transportation. We might actually be able to, um, that's a, for, that would have been hard for technical reasons, but, um, I got, I, I have some stuff in the works that could make that, I might be able to start doing more things. I may not be backed into this corner that I'm in right now. Um, expect the lays is great. Yeah, I, I think, I think it would do really well. Pat. Yeah, the, the we would we would be made if we knew how to code, we would be making video games, but we're dumb and we don't know how to code. So we make board games instead. Um, and to be clear, it's it's Pat's baby and uh, he's he's the lead developer. My job in the company is shock. I'm the writer. Um, Pat can't spell or use punctuation for shit. So he hires me to make sure he doesn't look like a dingus. And, uh, and then he also uh, wants his games to be funny. And then uh, he hires me to make them funny. So that's what I do. Uh, everything's spelled correctly. I write the rule books. Um, I usually try to put fluff in all our stuff. Uh, yeah, Expect Delays is great because it's a two-player game. So we specialize in doing two things simultaneously. Every single game we do deconstructs a popular trend in board games or card games. And then um, it's also silly <laughs> and fast. So, like, all our games take... The, our longest game takes maybe a half hour to play. Um, expect delays runs for about fifteen to twenty minutes. Oh yeah, no, it's just it's just like the darkest timeline version of the MTA. We both live in New York City, so like we have feelings. Um, <laughs> And and we made a card game to express them, and it's it's very fun. Basically, uh, you play two competing subway lines, and you're trying to get the most. Um, it, the goal of the game is you're trying to get the most passengers uh, that are are citizens of the city to successfully disembark from the train and if they board from the beginning and get off at the end they score more points it's like a little board and you got meeples and you track it um and there are service advisories which had change every round their cards that are like the mta service advisory signs and they are sometimes beneficial but usually bad and basically i got kicked oh no i spent too much time talking um, I got kicked to orbit. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, you're trying to get your passengers off, um, but the you, the other enemy has a hand of cards, and they break your train line. And they... Uh, so, there are uh, types of games called deck builders. Dominion is a really popular one. The idea is, is that you, as you're playing the game, you're building 
you're like buying cards and building a deck that you'll use that'll give you more abilities. This is a deck disassembly game. So in Expect Delays, as you're running the passengers, you're breaking the enemy's subway lines and literally discarding cards from the deck. And so there's less and less options for players as the game goes on. And uh, on top of that, you can, every time you disembark a passenger at the end of the line, or, or no, or you spend coins, I forget, because it's been a while since I've had to run the demo, and also we haven't, we didn't kickstart it. We just like, we got nominated for some stuff, and it's it's a it's a proof of concept right now. There's like maybe two copies in the world, um, and uh, yeah, you can basically uh, put tourists on the train line, and they take up space. And they're worth no points, and the other player is forced to make the tourists go to every stop and disembark before they can, like, use the tourists prevent you from scoring points because they just take up space. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're mean. New Yorkers are mean. That's how we feel. <laughs> that's why we that's why we have Times Square. What you all don't understand is that Times Square is such a tiny, tiny part of the city. And we're just like, go there. Stay there. Eh. Eh. Yeah, Broadway. Nice. Oh, God. And every New Yorker's like, don't get off at Times Square. Just go right past 42nd Street. Don't, don't stop. Oh, Skeksy. It's much more than an intersection. A townie. Well, you live in, like, L.A., don't you, Juan? L.A.'s half of California, so... I don't know. Your neighbors. Rory, that is... Yes. Um... Yeah. So that was Expect Delays, and we wanted to sell the game in a fanny pack because the tourist meeples were going to have fanny packs on them um, in the final product. And we liked, we, we thought that that... Flower, thank you for the subscription. Wonderful. Much appreciated. Flower the Talking Flower. Four months now. Northeast people use townie. It just means a local. But it it's a it it's like got equal amount of derogatory and sentimental value behind it. It's like, oh you fucking townie. But also you're like, yeah, I'm a fucking townie. Like that's a thing. We don't really say it in the city. Um when you live in New York, you it's the bragging rights. We all call ourselves New Yorkers. Are you a New Yorker? Uh, when you you just the, there's no distinction when you've lived in the city long enough, you'll just know. Either New York City, you don't like it and you leave, um, or you find yourself living there since you were 18. And all of a sudden, you're a New Yorker. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in my 30s now, and I moved here when I was 18, and I never left. And I don't regret it for a minute. The city's crazy. Everything everyone says is true. It's crowded. I don't get a lot of space for what I'm paying. I have to take public transit everywhere. Um... In Ireland, townie equal dickhead from a town city thinks he's better than people. Interesting. <laughs> I love you, Owen. <laughs> Ireland is this is not this is not uh, not a joke. It's on my it's on my to visit list. It's a country I've always wanted to go to. Um, I have yet to I have yet to be there. 
but I like Ireland. I dated an Irish girl before. She was great. That's not the thing I want. That's the thing I want. Okay. Of course you joke. We are joking. I... We're good, bud. I gotta go. I gotta go relaunch and go talk to Spider. And maybe play some Destiny. It was a pleasure talking to you all. I'm glad um, I got a chance to plug the, the card game stuff. And, and now that you know Pat, I hope uh, I hope you all check it out because he put a lot of work into it. We came on the scene, our first card game. Uh, I swear, our first card game is called Complicated Board Game, the card game. A simple card game about playing complicated board games with your friends. That's true. Um, and it happened because um, one night... I I just happened to own I just happened to own uh, the Battlestar Galactica board game with multiple expansions and it it takes a little bit of time to set up and at one point we were about an hour into setup I looked at Pat and we were roommates at the time and I just said you know there's an entire game in just setting up the game and Pat uh Put up his finger literally like i had never before in real life seen that cartoon light bulb pop over somebody's head but i saw the moment happen uh it's true though i am a i am an all caps nerd exaggerated um and but pat just went away put his finger up walked into his bedroom scribbled something on a notebook and then he came home from work the next day with a bunch of cutout cards and it was the first version of uh, complicated and um, I got I was I was less involved in the company, but I became more involved because I went with the company. I went with them to PAX uh, West news from my son? out of pocket to help Pat because he was so like nervous. And I was like, "Fuck it, I'll take." I got I was working. I was still a TV editor then, so I had plenty of cash. Right, so we made a, an entire card game hermit of tropes about playing and setting up board games and card games. And it's very silly, and it's very funny. Um, it is out of print, unfortunately. You cannot buy that one anymore. We, uh, we tried doing a reprint campaign, like an expansion, um, but... That was uh, it launched at a bad time, shortly before the plague, and it failed. So we, we have every intention of relaunching that again. Um, but the only game of ours you can get right now is called Status Report. And Status Report is like werewolves. So the problem with playing a game like Werewolf or Mafia is that um, it sucks to be a regular person who just has to sit there with their eyes shut the whole time. So we thought, what if, what if you played a, a game of werewolf where everyone was the werewolf? Everyone's a werewolf. Um, what that means is the premise of the game. Uh, Pat also liked it because it had asymmetrical gameplay. So one player is the captain of a spaceship, newly promoted. Um, there is a real emergency aboard the spaceship, but. Uh, at the same time, all of the spaceship's uh, AI pro systems have started going rampant, and you have to figure out which AI on the ship isn't killing the crew uh, before it kill all the rampant AIs kill the crew and the captain. So it's a, it's a social deduction game where uh, every turn the AIs have to play cards from their hands and uh, that decides how many people died. And they'll have to be like, oh man, I'm reporting like a meteor storm. Ooh, a bunch of meteors hit laser, laser, laser as they're murdering humans. And then they also have to, uh, there's a real good AI that wants to help the ship who has to be like, please listen to me for the love of God. 
um, and it never works. And it's uh, it's a great game if you want to yell at your friends. Um, but unlike Werewolf and Resistance and all these other games, it's on a timer. It's run in eight phases, so it's it's got it has an, a fixed ending. So after eight rounds, the game just ends. That's the resolve. Um, because it's the purge ramp in AI. If you hit the end, the captain is able to figure out how to purge the rampant AI from the system, and the the operational AI and the captain win. Thank you. And uh, wow, I'm remembering a lot about my card game. And um, the uh, rampant AI basically want to kill you all before you get to that point. And it can support anywhere from three to seven players. And the it the neat part about it is when you buy the game, there's a different board for every amount of players, and different things happen for depending on how many players are in the game. Like the rounds have like events and stuff. Rather, the captain gets to do things. Uh, that's great, Bob Gobbin. If you want to avoid amazon you can actually purchase it directly through our website uh which i posted earlier and i'll post again um hopefully it's my yay um so you if you go through offcut games it'll be cheaper first off um because we have to pay amazon their cut it's five dollars more expensive on amazon um, so if you buy it directly uh, from us, uh, you'll pay less, and uh, you won't give Jeff Bezos money. More than we already are by being on Twitch. I'm going to drink my water now. Please don't kill me, Master Bezos. We do ship internationally, Owen. I will warn you that, like, given current events, the shipping rates to Ireland might fucking suck. <laughs> I'll be honest. We've had people in Australia complain about it, and we're like, we're sorry, but we're in, we're three people in Brooklyn, and you live in Australia, which is on the other side of the planet. Fair enough, Bob Gavin. When the time comes, though, offcut games. Pat's hard work. Will pay off. We've still got a few. I think there's still a few hundred copies available. I think. But when the uh, play ends, Pat and I have it. We, we're working on another game, and I can't talk about it. That's the end. Welcome, my most productive guardian. Damn right. The crow no. reports our high celebrant. Is finally within reach. Damn son. He and the warlock Osiris have used what you've learned on your hunts to track it to the dreaming city. No shit. My hunter. Exemplary. An emblematic paragon. Makes me wonder why I needed you. <laughs> oh, fuck off. My chest, of course. Though You're a I weird monster, so I'd say I suck my dick, but pass. Trepidation. My pet stands at your shoulder like an equal. Your encouragement makes him think himself a guardian. The vanity. Do not let him so close, or spoil him with pretty dreams. Kill the high celebrant. Break Zivorath's hold over my shore, and you can claim any prize in my lair as your reward. Oh, that's kind of good. He's You'll a smuggler. It. He's like Jabba the Hutt, but, like, dealable. Ascendant Hunter, spiders, please. Your pursuit of Zivorath's most trusted devotee has paid off. So the High Celebrant has been tracked to the Dreaming City, and now you have uh, what you need to end their reign of terror. Travel to the Dreaming City and eliminate the High Celebrant. Yes, Juan, it will. When we make when we make it, it absolutely will. Very good. Oh my God, I've been broke. You'll be the envy of the tower. 
Shut up. I just need money. Oh, that's nice. I'll allow it. Way less rapey. Which, as we know from the Your chat rules here, here, no bueno. Yeah, thank you. We were pretty proud of that, too. Um, if we don't mind, you know, petting myself on the back. What do I got? Void weapon, machine gun, sidearm, scout I'm rifle. So oh, I can do, I can do this. Void scout rifle. Machine gun. Grenade launcher. Oh, hey oh, dapper gentleman, sir, in the his house. For those of you who aren't my regulars, uh, Dapper is a player in uh, the D and D campaign I run with Hammer Spaceman, who you know from Greg's streams because he's always handing out subscriptions, and from my streams because he's always handing out subscriptions. Who's my buddy Nate, who's also sometimes on this very stream. Um, he's not right now. But we may get company later. Um, that's a possibility. Why don't I have the necessity? My scouts report another down. Lure not configured. Dispatch the salvage team. Lure not configured. If the seven stars won't have him, why should I? Yeah, don't mind Dapper. He just comes here to be uh, mean. Any news from my salvage team? I want that loot. He plays an elf with a melted face. But uh, that's in my campaign. Right now we're playing... Uh, I took a break. I know abuse is your love language, and I do not kink shame. All right, let's try that again. Oh, right. I remember. Yep, you said he. Now this is sad, but he actually said that um, I am the supply and I to me last the night. Demands. God damn. Oh, I need a pulse rifle though. Empty barrier. Yeah? Is that true? It's anti-barrier? Is that, is that for real? Okay, it's fault time. He got them because he's bad at fire. I'm making it up. He's, it's his character. Guardian. Vault. I'm using a different... I'm using the actual official Destiny app and not Dim. And so I'm like a little... How does this work again? And the kids do what now? Scouts, report another down catch. Dispatch the salvage team. Oh, I need that. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> Change the view. I think the awoken will find you. my prices are. My scouts, report another down catch. Dispatch oh, the salvage I team. want you.
I gotta do void kills. Let's let's and work on. I think I still gotta work on my graviton lances. Masterwork. Catalyst. Yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna have a little fun here. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. We'll do shotgun. We'll do that. Took out anything? Do you want pulse rifles at all? It's not no. all nobody, nobody wants pulse I rifles. And I make the oh well. Graviton lands. I'm gonna scroll back down on the chat that I missed while I was doing all that bullshit. Because I'm obsessed. I know I should just keep going, but I'm obsessed. This thing needs to update. My scouts report another down catch. It is not Dispatch the salvage team. Chat. That's a shame. Another vice shipment gone missing. The telephone could offer them protection. What a price. I don't I try not to write hit pieces. If I don't like something, I just try to stay quiet. As a person who does that professionally. Um I only just try to examine the things I like. Other people can can write the hit pieces. I'll pass. Remember, the celebrant must be killed in the ascended plane. Destroy it, and you will deal Zivu a wrath, a crippling blow. Right. No celebrant, no cryptoliths. No cryptoliths, no wrathborn. Let's see her fight us without an army. Crow, are you there? Somewhat. I tracked the celebrant through a portal into swirling darkness. A gateway to the Ascended Plane. As I said, swirling darkness. I'm learning its tricks now, studying how it moves through these realms. It's like a shark cutting through black water. Huh. 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 I can do more than that. You asshole, Bob. I'm not on parlor. I... <laughs> well... I hated it. <laughs> I literally... They... I really wanted it to just be about how cool Culber is, but then they're like, you also gotta, like, hit Troy. And I'm like, I don't wanna. But I had to. Desperate times. I love Marina Sirtis. Marina Sirtis fan base, though, I feel like if the COVID wasn't on, I would be dodging Deanna Troy assassins. I'm on, I'm not, I'm on their shit list. That's true, it got shut down. Time's a flat circle, and I acknowledge that it happened. I'm not hip, but I am appraised of the situation, I would say, is a safe... That's a safe terminology I can use. I'm appraised. I know what's happening. Hey, Tamp Champ, how's it going? I just saw your hello. I'm shooting, guys. So, you know... Kinda don't want to use it now. Graviton Lance is not jiving with this dude's shield. I'll be honest. I really want him to die. 
worth it. Thanks, thanks, Owen. I am glad you could make it. Have a good one. I don't even... I only know what some of that means, Bob. Later, Owen. Let's go to an ascendant plane, people. It's gonna be dark and spooky. With extra O's. Some of them uppercase. Ha! Tagged it. It's bleeding energy and on its way back to you. Rethinking this uh, weapon strat. Rethinking it a mite. Just a skosh. Facing out on the chat for a bit, people. It's game time. And I'm totally not armed correctly. Milk was a bad choice. Time to run away and change my equipment. Alright. I need you. And you. Uh oh. The only thing I have is sword ammo. It's ice time. Time to be an ice wizard. I'm sorry you spilled your paint, buddy. Sounds real rough. I'm guessing. Miniatures. Now I'm feeling better. It fled back into the ascendant plane. Yeah, it did. But it left something behind. Told you I tagged it. That's residual energy, a blood trail. Destroy it, and the essences in your lure should reopen the portal. Essences. The celebrant seeks to bring more territory under Zivor Wrath's control. Be quick. She will not be pleased with trespassers. She ain't gonna be pleased with the hole I put in her face. I thought SMGs were anti-barrier. Anti-barrier submachine gun. Oh, I have to fucking slot the mod. That would be helpful. Whoops, days ago. Now I'm useful. A 
Well, I'll stretch for you, Sam. I'm the only one in our D&D group that calls him Sam. Everyone just keeps calling him Dapper. That's wonderful. Okay. Posture checked. I know. I know. Is that either you are saying that for the second time tonight or somebody else brought it up? But uh yes. I do have to come up with new uh, channel points and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, okay. See, Redbeard said it. We made it through the portal back to the Dreaming City. No sign of the celebrant. Crow, where are you? At your coordinates, walking the other side of the same coin. The way I see it, as long as we're in both planes, it has nowhere to hide. Celebrant sighted. That's a good think? idea, Rory. Jeez, let's go. This isn't working. We can't truly damage the celebrant without reclaimed light. Hold tight. I'm on it. We flushed them out of the ascendant plane and into the open. I just shot them until they ran, but I like the way you put it better. well. how I roll. I'm a pretty chill guy, Bob. Get it? Um to think you can enter not this strange. plane using nothing but dead essences. But comfortable. Like I Destiny was how I got started with Bungie. It was really interesting playing the Halo games but it felt like I was wearing somebody else's shoes. So it feels like I put an old pair of shoes back on and like, ooh, I like these sneakers. That's what it feels like. I've also been playing a lot of cyberpunk, like on my own and streaming.
But I did enjoy the Halo games. Um, unsurprisingly, the new, the last one, the newest one, was my favorite. Uh, Reach. I thought Reach was phenomenal. Um, I got nothing but praise for that. The other ones, like I said, it was like a history tour, so it was cool. Nostalgia goes a long way for old games. Like I'll still play Knights of the Republic, but that game's rough now. <laughs> it's like a 20-year-old game. Has she no ambition of her own? Yes, she's doing Sabathun's thing. ODST is, is a close second. I really enjoyed ODST, but Halo Reach was my jam. I'll be honest. It really was. I got to fly a spaceship in it. Um, I was a Spartan that wasn't Master Chief, so I didn't have all that hype built around it. And I like doomed tragedies. I like the, the story that uh, isn't going to end well. Yeah, um, right now, next week, I'm filling it with another Destiny stream. Um, I don't have anything directly pl pl planned with Pat. We're talking about stuff. But he could stop by Destiny. Um... Stop bleeding energy. We can't get through. I think the Celebrant realized we marked it. It sealed the portal behind itself. It's been trapped in here. Trapped in the ascendant plane with the celebrant, and they are already lost. Shut up, Sakura. The portal closed, but Don't maybe there's enough that. hive Sorry. magic left in the lure to activate some other way through. for us in here just know it's not your fault everything I did I did because I wanted to thank you for letting me have a choice yeah I don't know I don't know if I can do I don't know if I can do that the arm the, the broiness of army of two also the kind of bloodthirsty mercenary aspect of it. Okay. So, that's an already open portal that I have to I have to get through. Vertically. I already have Ascendance, so a Tincture of Queen's Foil shouldn't do anything. How the flippity flip do I get up there? No spoilers. Like, normally when I drink, I'm, I'm gonna drink a Tincture of Queen's Foil, because I have it, and I can. Normally, that shows me more stuff. Like, darkness bubbles I can jump on. But I have no fucking clue how I'm supposed to reach this place. There's no purchase.
Yeah, I... But the sticky green path stops. Like, that's the... Like, I go here. Follow it. Can't do nothing with the lore. There ain't nothing back here. There ain't nothing back there for me. It's supposed to, Oh, yeah, but look at that. But look at that. It's supposed to guide me. Oh, motherfucker. Alex, thank you. That's my clan mate. He may join us later after I finish this bullshit. Right now, I'm sure he's just laughing watching me maneuver through this. He's like, I want to see how many times Ari falls and dies. Almost, but not today. Ascendant plane. Do you read us? Nothing in here I can't handle. What are you talking about? A celebrant broke your legs and threw you into an abyss. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> My celebrant's just up ahead, and I think I have a plan. Oh, fuck me. That was unexpected. So they're just, uh, that just goes away, turns out. I missed my warlock jump. I really wanted that in Halo a bunch of times. I was like, oh, I want to be able to fly. I want to believe I can die. I was too short, just too short on that. This is the part Alex tuned in for. How many times does Ari fall? Don't make it a drinking game, you'll die of alcohol poisoning. It's really dark. The Ascendant Plane is like that. I don't want this grenade. I want a different grenade. Hopefully things will become more visible now. Forsagira. Forsagira. Are you keeping it busy? I'm nearly at the portal where you came in. You're leaving? Like Osiris said, the celebrant must die here. He's leaving. I survived by watching the world around me and learning from my light. I studied how that thing creates those portals. And this time, I'll be ready. Oh Lord, have mercy. Sweet atheismo. 
and the true science. That's what we call bullshit. Energy readings are spiking. Okay. Good. It's going to create another portal. I'm in position on the other side. You're smoking it out, Guardian, but if I block the exit, it burns. Pro, we're in the ascendant plane. Do you read us? We have nothing in here I can't handle. Oh, God. This is, this is awful. You, you have to do the entire jumping puzzle all over again if you die. What are you talking about? The celebrant broke your legs and threw you into an abyss. Nothing I can't handle. Well, not the entire, just but like half of it. Pro, we're in the ascendant plane. Do you read us? Nothing in here I can't handle. What are you talking about? The celebrant broke your legs and threw you into an abyss. Nothing I can't handle. The high celebrant's just up ahead, and I think I have a plan. Whoa, no. Destined for failure, Twitch stream where I play Destiny badly. This isn't random. This is, uh, the Ascendant Planes are always like this. When they say Ascendant Plane, they mean Jumping Puzzle. So, we're in the Ascendant Plane. Do you oh, read fuck. Us? I went the wrong way. Here I can't I'm just gonna die again. We're gonna have to listen to this dialogue about? for the 50th the time. Broke your legs and threw you, into an abyss. you remember that part I where I was handle. just, like, I just beat the boss? And they were like, go to the next part. What are you talking about? And the then I was like, oh, wow, cool. And, and then I died. Nothing I this is handle. what happens. The high celebrant's just up ahead, and I think I have a plan. Bro, we're in the ascendant plane. Do you read us? Nothing in here I can't handle. What are you talking about? The celebrant broke your legs and threw you into an abyss. Nothing I can't handle. The high celebrant's just up ahead, and I think I have a Fuck. plan. This time, better. Are you keeping it busy? I'm nearly at the portal where you came in. You're leaving? Like Osiris said, the celebrant must die in the ascendant plane and you're our best shot at making that happen. He's leaving. I survived by watching the world around me and learning from my light. I've studied how that thing creates those portals. Energy readings are spiking. It's going to create another portal. I'm in position on the other side. You're smoking it out, Guardian, but if I block the exit, it burns. Bye. Bro, the portal. I see it. Now, finish it. You are getting sorted. No more. How did you manage that? Pro destroyed its portal from the other side when it tried to escape. I knew he wouldn't really leave us. No, never. Oh, bring its head, would you? The spider will want proof when you come to collect. Oh, gladly. It's been an honor, Guardian. And collect. Let's get this fucker's head off. No, I wanted his head. Ooh, it's done. 
So it is. So it is. All right, Guardian. As promised, you can have a prized bauble from my lair. As compensation for your... heroics. I want... him. <laughs> Cute. Real funny. You said anything in the room. <laughs> oh, uh, you really want my little bird? Uh, fine, you can have him. Fly away and get the hell out of my lair. Ooh, we piss off the spider. Now what? I... Long story, I Dapper. I don't know. It doesn't feel real. Freedom. Why would you do this for us? Because... You're a guardian. So, he was a former bad guy that died, and guardians are resurrected corpses, and, uh, in a cruel twist of fate, or clever story twist this guy who killed nathan fillion uh not literally nathan fillion but nathan fillion's character in destiny was killed by him he used to be this guy aldrin sav um he was the prince of the glowy eyed people uh the awoken of which i am a member of um Um, and now he got resurrected, and he's a guardian like me. And, uh, he got picked up by this asshole. Spider. And, uh, he didn't let him go. And we've been trying to get him back to the tower. Even though he killed Nathan Fillion. He's a guardian now, with no memory of his past life. He's a different person, called the Crow. But not Brandon Lee. Peace for Savik. The crow leans against the table, his head bowed. There was an elixir, he says, a salvager drag named Savik. We worked together a few times out on the shore. A few days ago, I saw her in a horde of Wrathborn, managed to isolate her. Drag her away. Restrain her. He refuses to meet your eyes. I tried to get through to her. To reach the Savik I knew, but she fought so hard to free herself that she near tore, nearly tore one of her arms off. Crow swallows and you can see his throat lump. Silence then. I didn't know what else to do, so I gave her what peace I could. Continue completing Wrathborn hunts to weaken Zivu Arath's forces. I celebrant be dead. My scouts. I think you'll find our friendship agreeable. All right, so just speak to him to finish the quest. Well, what is your earth like? If we meet again? Tell them uh, the jewels beautiful. are straight from the crystal barrels. It's the truth. As far as they know. the law of commerce i am the supply and i i understand um i won't do that now dapper but um i'll look at your mini later doing good doing good doing good
So there's two unrevealed seals. How, regrettable. How much time is left in this it's season? Got a month left. I don't know what I have to do. I beat the raid. I am the supply. I've done all sorts of cool stuff. Another down catch. Dispatch the salvage team. Very exciting. Why did I do that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Excellent. Nice pinnacle reward there. Very good. It's the law of commerce. I am the supply, and I make the demands. Okay. Let's Bring go back to orbit. I have a task for you. Apparently, oh, apparently my old stuff must have expired. Bounties. So I'm going to buy some bounties real quick. Um, and then I'm going to take a bio. And then I'm going to go pester Alex and see if he wants to do some playlist stuff. That's the game plan. Uh, I need to go there. I need to go there. This is fun, right? Everybody watch me look down and buy things with fake money. Alright. On that note. Oh no. I didn't fix that. Excuse me while I fix that. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, and I have an Alex with me. Say hello, Alex. Hello. All right. I have arrived. You have arrived. That's a, that's a sneezy. Am I saying that right? Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, I'm on. Join up whenever. I, I just tried doing one of the solo uh, lost sectors oh on Europa. God. I can't. I can't even get past the first room in them. I've done them a couple of times on the stream. I've been able to do the 1250 ones, but the 1280 ones are no joke. Yeah, I bet. Uh, hello, cat. Um. So out of the three playlists, which one which one do you hate the least and want to do? Probably strikes right now. <laughs> That's fine. I can I I need to Good do them. Let, let's do Vanguard. I'm in. Yeah. So I already change. have bounty, so. Yep. I gotta switch to solar. I'm not I'm playing my my flying one. Unless it's ground unless it's grounded. Cause then I it's grounded. Uh, I don't care. I'm still going to do it. Okay. I finally hit... Um, oh, hard I finally cap? hit power cap. Yeah. Oh, dude. Congrats. I don't think I'm going to make it this season, but it's fine. I'm in the 1250s. I only did it because like, I was having some amount of fun and doing the raid a lot. but um... The raid's really good. It is, but like really there's no point in hitting it. They're just gonna raise the cap next season anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I try um, not I try not to worry too much about the, the hard cap. I mean like uh the pinnacle cap rather. I'm at hard cap. But Yeah. Hard cap is just if I if I hit that, I'm good to go. I, like I did finally. Thank you. It's from the Whisper mission. Nice. I finally got Anarchy. And I oh haven't taken god. it off since. Oh my god. Jealous. Jealous, jealous, jealous. It's... It's amazing. I'm just glad I got to buy Air Apparent before they took it off of the monument thing. Oh yeah. The only gun I can really buy right now is Fourth Horseman. Hey, hero. That apparently... I like... I got it when it came out, and I just like never got around to using it. But apparently, it does insane damage, or can. I don't even know how it works. I've never used it. Right. But it was like a strat for a little while in some endgame content. I don't want to use this SMG anymore. Prison of Elders welcomes you. Impress your ward. Is that Varrick's? <laughs> Hell no. Varrick's left his pet servitor behind. And the thing went nuts. Thinks it is him. It's running the whole prison through some kind of combat drills. Train time. Let's move this prisoner train through. The cell blocks are up ahead. Drifter, you seem like you've got some oh, intel on this place. How many cell blocks did they open? Let's just say... For the biggest gunfight to ever you jump over the train, which is what they did. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> nope, didn't make it. Guardian down. It go well, some dude. Tempest, hello. Welcome to the stream. I don't know how long that that hello is up there for. It's going well. It was, but I'm destined for failure. No, uh, it's fine. I've got 
my uh, clanmate and quote friend Alex with me. <laughs> yeah, really, really emphasize that. Yeah, that's the main point. No, Alex is awesome. He, uh, when he ran us through Deep Stone Crypt, uh, he did this puzzle that gets you the super cool uh, speeder, the sparrow, for us before we even came in. So, he's a good, he's a good clan mate. And he puts up with my crappy platform. I'm destined for less failure with Alex around. Aww. Yep. Alex just did it on his own. He was just like, hey, all the pikes are in place. Y'all just need to get over here. Well, it was a lot easier because they had the the bug where you could get the balloon and keep it the entire uh, time, but now they're getting rid of that, so. Oh, yeah. All right, we definitely, glad we did it now. It, yeah, I'm glad we did it too. Yeah, we exploited the shelter bug. Which, like, people are like, isn't Destiny always broken? We're like, that's half the fun, is finding the, the broken things in it and exploiting it to our advantage. And then having Bungie go, oh, we didn't, we thought that was going to be something else. And we're like, nope, finish. I mean, that, yeah, that's, if not for that bug, I wouldn't have gotten anarchy. <laughs> right. I just want to be here. Cabal Wars is on the march. Oh wow, Alex. Cabal War Machine's Red on the Legion. march. What have they been up to after the war? Point me in their direction. The cabal seat of power now resides in orbit around Nessus in a giant fish. I'll be honest, though, this is one of my favorite strikes. I really do like this one. <laughs> that likes them thick cabal boys. My favorite enemy type to play is probably uh, the Vex. I really like fighting the robots. They have really fun d, &D monster names so you get to be like, shoot the goblins! No wait, get the minotaur! Like, it's fun. My least favorite is the Hive. I think that's everybody's least favorite. Some people might say Taken, but the Taken are pretty cool. I'm at I'm stuck. It killed you. It did. Somehow. The Fallen are cool. They're the most sympathetic, so I feel the weirdest killing them. Like, the Cabal are assholes, the Hive are assholes, the Taken are zombies, the Vex are unthinking machines. Who are the Elixni? Abandoned, broken, fallen civilization. It's very sad. <laughs> They've devolved into piracy. I think the Taken might be my least favorite. Yeah, like I said, some people say Taken, but, uh... Just I, the signs that multiply? Oof. Yeah, those are bad. Um, the Hive just, like, curse thralls, and they just give me the oogies. They're just creepy. Taken or cool, they're glowy. I'm willing to put up with them. The Hive are creepy looking. Super scary. I love it, Tempest. Well 
the hive would definitely smell the worst. The fallen would smell like whatever ether smells like. Like, not the drug ether, but their ether. The Cabal would be pretty gross. They'd be like... B.O. I just imagine awful gym, gym sweat. They are objectively not an attractive species of alien. Not attractive. You. Yeah, you're right. How am I? Who am I to say? Right, exactly. I don't think the Taken would smell that bad. I think we could deal with them. What's this? I think there's lore that says the Taken leave like kind of an ozone. Taste. Yeah, exactly. That's uh. Has uh. Oh, he definitely... The Drifter, has he talked about eating Taken? He talks about eating everything. Looks like the trickster left you a present. I always hated her. And he talks about eating Hive. He, he talks laugh. about... I don't know if he talks about eating Elixir because that would be really fucking weird. The crazy like, some of them Oh, I just are... saw your comment on the Taken Ozone smell. Yeah. They said that before you said yours. I wasn't reading. I know, I know. I'm just saying it was... Good, great minds. An old friend is I'm here. Jewish. No, no shellfish. No, I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't care. Happy Fuller was saying that they, uh... You're dead. Fight over. He didn't even Dude. get to summon all his shit. Anarchy and Golden Gun with a slug shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> no hostiles, I'll try. I'll bring you I only I only used my primary okay. weapon the entire strike. I've been looking for someone to watch my back one of these days. Oh During man, uh, Ari, have you read Aragon? You for hire? No, the the dragon novel. Touch. No, I haven't read it. Yeah. Okay. That was like. I was just, just a little too young. old for that. Yeah. Okay. Well. That was like my favorite book series growing right. up, and honestly, still is. And uh, I'm making Danica read them right now for the first time, and <laughs> she's she's slowly getting into it. Yeah, I you, you, they're the tests. You have to test to know if they're the one. And you have to share your nerdiest <laughs> side with them, and then. Uh, oh, I totally just left the fire team. I'm so sorry. I mean, I can go back to orbit. It's not a big deal. Problem solved. Join back up. I'm coming. I am currently rereading Dune, and I'm mm. on the fifth Dune book. I'm on Heretics of Dune, and I'm about 80% of the way through it. Okay, would you recommend because I've read the first book and it's one of my favorite books of all time, but you want... I have not read any okay. of the others. I have one question. Are you, oh, uh, well, no, two questions. Are you okay with extreme weirdness? I mean, yeah. Okay. Do you care about loving Paul forever? Uh, I guess no. I have no like super deep attachment to him okay then yes read the sequels <laughs> that's my answer i don't no spoilers go pick up okay. Doom, go pick up doom messiah and we'll have a conversation afterwards you mean the brock is on strike that's already running i'll add it to my list off to a great start mr vanguard yeah, because I just I heard that they like weren't as good. Or some um, people thought they weren't as good. So his son wrote a bunch of books get me to a console. that aren't I'll as good. That. Frank Herbert's stuff is actually very good, um, in my okay. opinion. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the first book was like the first book is one is is literally my favorite my favorite book. Well, Neuromancer is really high up there too. Um, those are like my faves. I collect different editions of Dune. That's the type of Dune I like. I respect it.
Yeah, also my cat is named Muadi, and I made the emotes on my channel, Cat Faces, that say his name. Long live the fighters of Muadi. Thanks for moving that tank out of the way. Head for that solar fuel cell. Also, hello, Avery. I think it's cool. There's an exhaust vent nearby, but I don't know how long you want to hang on to that thing. I like the first couple of Hitchhiker's books, and then, I don't know. I, I, something started lagging, and I just wasn't going to go. But the first it. couple are and really, really good. Go yeah, not blowing up as good as you can hope for something. I'm a big fan of uh, the Hyperion Cantos by Dan Simmons. Um, if you haven't read that, it's kind of like a science fiction Canterbury Tales. And you should go read Hyperion. Still haven't been able to track it's a really Zuma. fucking cool book. Cabal usually like to be found. This guy's no ordinary space Good choice, Avery. His good choice. Ain't half bad either. Those weapons have snuffed out too many good I think people. my favorite fantasy book like series of all times was called the obsidian trilogy by uh mercedes lackey and james mallory i've um, heard of it i haven't read it it is purely my favorite just because the magic system that they created in that world is like high magic and wild magic and they like went into this really in-depth explanation of like how it all worked and i just like loved that Oh well, you've read it. you've read Rothfuss, right? Name of the Wind. No. Uh, if you like magic, go read that. If you like that, go go read that book. Go read Name of the Wind. Like, I I no, this is good. I'm. Yeah. Um, I need to address the chat real quick. So some dude Tempest. First off, uh, thank you for reading my Dune articles. I appreciate it. Um. Some people give me shit for, like, hardcore dude nerds give me shit for being like, why are you explaining all this basic stuff? I'm like, well, because not everyone is into the trippy mindfuck stuff like we are. So, um, you know, giving people brief explanations is a way to ease them into just how complicated Dune is. Um... So complicated, the first movie is only the first half of the first book. Oh, really? Yeah, and they didn't even film part two. They wanted to film them back to back like Lord of the Rings, but they didn't because One of COVID. To worry about, but we need to get up that um, so they still have to film the end. And there's a really weird another thing going tank. on right now there where there's the been elevator. no casting announcement on Fade. And no footage revealed. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on with Fade. Hmm. Right. I I am just very excited. Oh, I am too. I've been writing a shit ton of Dune articles. And to answer... Big Denise, I'm a big Denise Villeneuve fan. Or however you say his name. Denny Villeneuve. Denny Villeneuve. <laughs> you get me. Yeah, I got you, Alex. And then, You're a nice boy. The, the, because I've gotten into photography recently, I've been following. Uh, I think his name is Greg Schaefer, or something like that. Greg Schaefer, I think. He also is doing the Batman movie. Um, yeah, which this, looks great. I, also, I love it. both of those movies just look so good. Uh, I'm very, I'm very excited with uh, for for the Dune movie. Um, and Nate Hammer Spaceman, what up? And also. Um, yes, Hyperion is the book with the Shrike. You are thinking of the right book. And that, it's awesome. There he Everybody is. go read Rock Hyperion. Is on is here. We'll try to grab his flame turret blueprints after he's dead. Sicario was awesome. Exactly, Nate. The Hyperion, the Hyperion book is good. And Deviant with an E, but yes. 
Oh yeah, look, two of my D&D players are here right now. We've got a Nate and a Sam. Almost back to the surface. Watch for air support. Aw, Nathan. Smart to not have a backup plan. Yeah, a backup plan is overrated. Here we go. Nate, Nate, you gifted 41 subs, you lunatic. I love you. Alright, I think I gotta do one more on this playlist. Hammer Spaceman, 42, Meaning of Life. Oh, Mask will like that whenever he checks back in. Mask is Eyes of Sin's uh, significant rocker person. He's a cool guy. He sometimes lurks. 42 is better. We were talking about hitchhikers earlier, so it only seems appropriate. Hate that roll. Just correct my suspicions. Yeah, we gotta do one one more. I went and bought the uh, speeder that was available for Bright Tusk, the Bra the Braytech Dream 9. I fucking love this thing. Yeah, that was pretty sick. And I only need one more, um, just the helmet from the Bright Dust Universal Ornament set. Oh, well, the helmet Escape was out a couple of weeks ago. It'll be out again, probably. To finish the job. Hmm? We got a couple more weeks. I got the legs. I uh this week. So all they got to do if they're going in order top to bottom, I don't know if they are. Then the next week would be Warlock Bond and then the week after that would be Helmet again. So I got a shot of not having to pay 300 silver to get the rest of it. I did not buy the dance this week yet. Um, I could, but I haven't. Only way to go deep is past just wanted that break tech. Yeah, I'm just saving up my bright dust again for next season. Cool. For what? Kinda. Yeah. I don't know, just really anything. Uh, I... I decided to collect the, this armor set, so I've been spending it all on that. And I like... Yeah. I like ornaments. I really like universal ornaments. They're kind of my favorite new addition to Destiny. It takes yeah. all the pressure for me of having to look like... Of wanting to look cool, but also wanting to mechanically be the best. Now I can just buy an armor set that I like the look of and slap whatever stats I want to. Dude, just wait for transmog. I can't wait for it. I'm so excited for transmog. I'm gonna tra transmog the fuck out of my uh, raid armor. I have almost a full set uh, from that one Deepstone 
crypt run. Did you get the the chest piece? Yeah. The yeah, warlock cause... chest piece, it's sick. It's the coolest armor. Yeah, the coolest yeah I wanna tran I wanna transmog it so badly. The only thing I'm missing on Hunter is the helmet. I like still have the outfit. I think I'm missing the legs. Yeah, no, that's okay, dude. We'll just uh, take care of these guys. Don't worry about us. I'm not. It's a fucking Vanguard strike. You have anarchy. I'm not worried about you at all. <laughs> yeah, Tempest. The uh, Deepstone Crypt Warlock chess piece is sick. I'll show it to people in a second. It is. It's a delightful piece of armor. One of their more inspired designs, for sure. Also, that's another reason I like the Universal Ornaments. They put a lot of the, really, their best designs there. There's some really great looking armor sets. Which is a hot topic. Yeah, I know. But, you can earn most of it with Bright Dust and Season Pass. So like, you're yeah. not really paying extra for it anyways. Even though you kinda are. They just kinda swap the economy around. I don't need it. Oh well, Hammer. Not like there won't be offers later to get the armor from the past. I actually have 300 silver right now. I'd give it to you if I could. Well, I mean, I have the silver for it. it uh, Nate's just saying that um, it won't come around again before the season's over. But yeah, I mean have the exact amount you need to finish this Oh, yeah. I think I have exactly zero silver. Yeah. Zero. I have no silver. Pulled that res off just in the nick of time there. When I'm not in the middle of a raid, I can tell you exactly what pieces I'm missing. So I do Tempest. Round one. All right, don't trap. Oh Tempest. God, we're trapped in the floor again. You died again. Why does it keep killing you and not me? I think that's the helmet. Probably the anarchy. Gloves, chest, legs. I just need the bomb. I was right. I just need they fun. Are dead. You are not. I got that all in one run. Round now, two. I don't have the rocket launcher or really any of the raid Power. weapons, but I, I did get almost the entire set, yeah, which was for me a big win. That was a surprisingly okay. good run. Kind of trash I think. Anyway. What? Here the weapons are kind of trash anyway. Oh yeah. It's a status thing though. Yeah, and I haven't gotten Cloud Strike yet. Oh dude, that's a mistake. It's a that good. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, comparable with the slug shotguns. It's, it's one of the main things used in the uh, mechanics. You get that through uh, Empire Hunts, though, right? Yeah, I'll run one with you if you want. Uh, I actually need to, so we can do that. We can do that next. Yeah. 
and you can do it running at like any difficulty. So we can do it the easiest difficulty. Uh, I gotta, I wanna take out some champions because I've got the last barracks thing. So just maybe the so twelve twenty one. Yeah, just yeah. just just the twelve twenty one. Nothing crazy. No time to do my DJing. Wow. The shotgun heritage. We did we just run this. Good. Yeah, we did. We uh, well, no, we ran. Yeah, no, I was it, we did a sandwich. We did a we did a warden of nothing sandwich. All oh, right. Yeah, no, I was kidding. The Deepstone Crypt weapons are fucking baller. I take it back. I take it all back. <laughs> I'm literally running the shotgun right now. <laughs> Look at you with your curse breaker seal. Yeah, what can I say, dude? I have no life. <laughs> Look, I'm just glad I got Wayfarer before it went away. I lament the loss. Like, I was so one entry away from getting Chronicler, but so be it. Oh, Cloud, um, it's a totally different experience since the Dinklebot days. If you only played vanilla D1 with Dinklebot, you are, uh, this is a different, this is almost a different game. Entirely different. I just wanted to help one of my favorite guardians out. Guy can't do that? I thought this was a new golden age. Be kind to each other. Am I right? Oh, I'm done listening to this dude. We're on orbit. You're the sorriest thing I ever saw. I know you like the drifter and he's your bro, but he's a creepy uncle in a van. Um, let me just I got a new I got a blast patoot. Ooh, we got a hammer space monster. Huh? What? What? Oh, Nate's huh? here. Huh? 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 What? Full fire I team. How? When the what? Madness. What is Chin React? There's all these new perks. I do kind of like that. But I'm getting rid of it. Alright, well, you heard what we're doing Empire Hunts. You heard what we're doing. So. Yeah, you heard his voice last night. What's the... What are the champions? Uh, one moment. A barrier and overload. So I think I'm gonna run... Um, lament. And gnawing hunger. Definitely ice. Hey, Greg is here. Hello, Greg. It is my teach destiny. I will teach it to you one day. I imagine you would... I'll teach it to you, and then you'll smack me in the face and be like, why did you waste... Why did you waste all this time? Why did you... I, I, these were hours of my life, Ari. That's what I think will happen if I, if I walk you through destiny. All right, we're ready. Yeah, Greg, how is your back? Is it literally broken? Like, or is it just the herniated disc? I mean, not to downplay the pain of it, but like, are you like, 
Batman broken over Bane's knee broken? Or just like... You're not Professor X or anything. I hope you feel okay. Are you... Oh my god. Aramis met Praxis in prison. Yes. Each day okay, good. Spoke I'm glad you're fucking with me because that is horrifying. I'd rather he was fucking with me. I would look for hexes first, unless your children have, uh, have gotten sticking keys in your stuff. Which would be really weird, Greg. Yeah, everyone's big on Rust. I was looking at the numbers. It's not really my jam. Hair. Wow. That sounds awful. This has now become a uh, Greg intervention. Are we right, supposed Salvatore. to intervene? Uh, all right, Salvatore. Pretty sure he's not around. Yeah, pretty sure Bob Salvatore is not hanging around here. I remember you getting knee pains in college when it rained. So I know you've had knee issues that stem from military. He was a super soldier. I'm not supposed to talk about it. It's classified. The army was looking into soldiers who knew how to mix cocktails really well. And they wound up with Greg. And I'm booted from the How to Drink Network. Mm. Hi. It was a good run, everyone. Oh yeah, forgot those were there. It just does, just a little pop. <laughs> Thanks, Tempest.
I my computer's old, so like Pat just likes giving me a lot of shit. I I'm still able to run Cyberpunk on it and stream it. And yeah, this game is pretty. And it's at high settings. Great. All right. You heard it here first, folks. Soft plug. Greg will be streaming later. Are you gaming or just chatting? What are you doing? What is Greg doing tonight? Uh, you wouldn't have to get into it as a solo solo player, JR. You, uh, there's still actually, believe it or not, an active community playing Destiny 1 to a degree. I did not mean to launch my super, but I'll float around like an ice wizard. Why not? <laughs> there he goes. I love how I'm not dead yet. <laughs> My graphics card, embarrassingly, is a, a GTX 680. I have, it's super old. So wait, instead of getting like a real sleep evaluation, Greg, you're just gonna, you're just gonna, yeah, I'd love to have an RTX. An RTX would be fantastic. But uh, to quote a great song, there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay. I got mouths to feed. And ain't nothing in this world for free. So, I can't get it yet. I, I also Guardian can't stay down. on platforms. Guardian down. Yeah, I, I just want to be able to do VR. I can't do VR with this graphics card. And I really, really want to get uh, a VR headset. That's really the only problem with this computer. It's a great computer. Target. Too, Cloud. I didn't buy Cyberpunk because I didn't think I was going to get it. And then Nate over Praxis. here Praxis is bought me Cyberpunk as a here. gift just because he's a cool guy. What a dumbass. What kind of dumbass would do that? The one that's you? Oh. I suppose that's a, the precise kind of dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that tracks. Yeah. 
Um, so I I ran it, and I'm running it on low settings, but it still looks cool. Nate is very cool. I've known him for a long time. GTX 680. I swear, I'm running this on a GTX 680. That's um. Where's my sniper rifle? I didn't get my sniper rifle. I didn't get my sniper rifle either. Alex, we didn't get our sniper rifles. Gotta run it again. Alex. Yeah. You take me to barracks. I do have to go to barracks. Do you have to go to barracks? I do. Let's go to barracks. You are at the point where. You have the elected elective difficulty ones, right? Yeah, we were doing we were doing we just twelve twenty. Yeah, there's no champions in the base one. Listen, it's been a while since I played this game mode. <laughs> yeah, I just because your class rank dropped on the first run doesn't mean ours did. Yeah. Excuse me, mine dropped on my second run. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I didn't sorry, mean to exaggerate like that. <laughs> Some of us have run this a dozen times or more and still haven't gotten it. That's fine. <laughs> Dude, well, let me just equip it for this. Okay, yeah, we're going to do the lowest difficulty next. I, I think. Oh, I need champions. We need, champions. need 19 more champions. Oh, then we can do champions. That's fine. Actually, I need to do one moment. I actually have to switch armor sets and kill champions. And Christocrine. Yeah, in Christocrine. I'm on that last barracks thing. It's my last upgrade for Europa. Let barracks. Not much, uh, Cloud. Honestly, the uh, they get you to soft power cap, which is what you need to do most things in Destiny pretty uh, quickly, to be honest. Yeah. Um, the, the long game becomes going from soft cap to hard cap. Four pieces, some dude. Uh, at least four pieces. Um, so what do we got? The Technocrat? We're doing the Technocrat? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. I don't I don't need to buy it again. I don't wanna buy it again. I'll save my Alright, uh, switching armor. Oh I don't have I have to switch out of transverses steps. I don't have Krista Sirene. What a disappointment you are to me. Your mother, and I. My mother doesn't care that much. No, no, your mother and I are very disappointed in you. I want you to be aware <laughs> of that. You've been talking to her? <laughs> Fine, I guess I will run solar with the heal, healing rift and Phoenix protocol and all that stuff. That's just weird. You're weird. Why, why would you do such a thing? Because I can't run my legs. My, my shiny legs. What? All right. 12.20. Launching. Diablo style gear grinding. I mean, you do get a lot of stuff that you're blowing through, but it's not really. Ah, what's that? There's a grind to get your number higher. It's all about higher numbers. Um, and I guess there's a fair amount of meta gaming at the end about armor stats, but most people don't have the time for that. And most of it also doesn't matter. 
It also like, really yeah. doesn't matter that much. It cuts a couple seconds off of your recharge time on yeah. one ability. It's, it, yeah. it's, it's, like it's just min-maxing for the sake of min-maxing. Yeah, they really they put yeah, in like, enough nitty-gritty stuff to appease hardcore nerds, but it's not really necessary for the experience. It only comes into play when you're like... Glad trying to do a two man of tanks. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that's the Cloud, only time you'll notice. I would say you are repeating activities. Um, that's still Destiny. But, like, cleverly, they do things like add new dialogue to missions without telling people. Because you're playing infinite, you're a paracausal entity playing through infinite variations of the same event. How rude. So, sometimes the, the quests have different shit in them. Later, Hermit. You be safe as well, my friend. They do. They, um, for hardcore lore nerds like me, there's usually... Guardian down. There's usually, like, lots of neat notes. And there's a... They... Unlike Destiny 1, they really put the lore in the game. Like... You can access it in the tab. The story... The, they're still working on their plots. But uh, I would say that uh, this latest expansion, Beyond Light, has had a pretty fucking solid story. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One of their one of their what? better stories. And the, yeah, the War of Lament and Deepstone Crypt. There's a lot of really good stuff in Destiny right now. It's it's honestly in a good shape. It's in a good place. If you want to talk about a real game? You should play Anthem. Pass. Hard pass. I think everyone, everyone at Bioware hating. is passing on Anthem. <laughs> Everybody's hating, but I'm, I'm telling you, man. It's, uh, it's a sleep. Yeah, you also like the Drifter, so. What's up to like about the Drifter? He's a creepy uncle. I don't <laughs> like the Drifter. I'm a creepy uncle. That is true. But you're not as creepy. Hmm. Sounds like an opinion. And die. All you dead. died. Yep. Kotor three. That's practically like saying Half Life three. Games that will never happen. I like creepy Uncle, Uncle Nate, especially when he takes me out back to his tool shed, says Sam. I put those words in your mouth. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> what's, what's not to like about the tool shed? <laughs> you are right in memory um and also jedi fallen order was fucking solid um not an rpg like an action platformer but that game was great i had a really good time with jedi fallen order there you go Oh, Cloud, if they went back towards doing Dragon Age, like, origin style, you that would be all I would be streaming for a couple of years. God, I love the lament. Uh,
Uh, it's probably a rumor. I played the. We all played the Old Republic. Um, by we all, I mean um, my D and D group, Nate, and uh, our friend Tom, and I. We all played Old Republic together for a bit. Hmm. I too missed dominating that PvP. That game was fun. I was a really good tank Jedi. I just, I got tired of the number pad MMO gameplay style. I just can't do that anymore. That's a big reason why I, I play Destiny. Because it's an FPS hybrid, like. It's not just waiting for cooldown time. The Old Republic's immense, and it only got bigger. I played it in vanilla, and it was a very big game. Yeah, I hear you. That's, uh, thankfully, Destiny, you can do most of it solo. Well, they they consider Destiny, by they I mean Bungie, they consider Destiny to be an MMO FPS. Um, and they have been leaning into the more RPG statistics, Destined for Failure. You, you, but we just, we just got here. Destined for Failure, a Twitch stream, starring me. <laughs> uh, and just as a heads up uh, to my fire team and to people watching, this is probably, we're getting towards the end of the stream, and this is probably going to be the last mission that I do while streaming. Oh, well then we're going to both get our cloud strike then, right? That's how that yeah, works? Yeah, that's how that, that's how karma works. <clears throat> as usual, Avery, I, I didn't jump right. It's in my Twitch bio that I'm bad at platforming. I don't know if I would call that platforming, but all right. I mean, any sort of jumping in a game. Oh. It requires me not to fall off a ledge. Not necessarily the genre platformer. We all just want to stay inside. Beautiful glowy ring. But we can't hurt the boss. I'm dead. But I got blown off the map by the bad guy. It's not my fault. See, Avery, I'm with you. Like, if, as soon as you put me in the first person perspective, like, it's a chore. It's a task. All right. Barracks, now we get. Now we get it. We're finishing up here. Good. Cloud strike. Without Bilax Two cloud strikes. Aramis will grow reckless. I would agree in memory. I don't think. Got it. I, you did? <laughs> no, I got myself. Oh. I caught I caught the grenade. Oh. Um, I would agree in memory. I mean, <sighs> different games call for different types of storytelling. You wouldn't you wouldn't tell the story of Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I got three enhancement uh, cores, but oh, you I got Cloud Strike. <laughs> you actually got it though. Congratulations! See, you man. just have to kill yourself with Fighting Lion. That's that's all it takes. That apparently. was all apparently, apparently. <laughs> Um, well, Nate, Alex, uh, thank you both for joining me. Uh, no, thank me. I mean, you. I mean, yes. 
Well, Nate's awesome. He deserves it. Alex got his on his second try. Son of a bitch. Hell yeah. It's going to take me forever. It's This is the Cloud Strike is my new Braytech Osprey. Why Why would they give it to me at 1259 power? Why couldn't they just give it to me at 1260? <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, this is the stream. I'll be back tomorrow for Cyberpunk. I I did it specifically. I had it on my schedule, Sam, that you would be done with your miniatures right now, and that I would wrap up. That was that was planned. It's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good night, Dr. Nick. See you.